Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jude from Happiness and Crafting. So today, um, I'm just having a play. Look, I've got nice and messy today. I'm just making some paper. Um, I'm recycling actually. So these are paper bags, big paper bag I've got. And I've got some more packaging that I'm going to paint. And I just wanted to sort of, I'm using some gesso um, and some oxide inks as well. And also one of these, this is the lovely outdoor acrylic um, paint which is the gold this is the Arteza and it's beautiful um, so I'm just making I want to make some nice um, journal covers and also some nice envelopes so I wanted to make it out of something a little bit different um, so I thought I'd have a little play today Saturday so it's the weekend so I thought I'd get a little bit messy so I've just been um, gessoing and painting it or inking it and then popping some um, the gold over the top and I think it looks really really lovely and also I've done it with the blue which I absolutely love um, so I thought I'd show you how I've been doing it just in case you fancy giving it a go so all of this is is a paper bag um, and I know I normally use the um, packaging from the Amazon boxes but it's a little bit thinner um, this is the Amazon box one so this is real sort of like recycled paper and it's quite flimsy for this because I'm getting it quite wet. Um, so I've got this other recycled paper um, that came with the other um, package that I had and it's a little bit thicker, it's a little bit sturdier so I thought it would probably be a little bit better. Um, but again if you've got a nice big brown paper bag you can use those as well. Um, it's got to be the sort of like the thicker paper. So I'm going to be using this here, so let's just pop these out of the way. Um, so this is just, again, I've just got a piece of, um, I've doubled it over, the packaging doubled over, and all I'm going to do, I'm going to stick it together so we've got a double layer on here. So just a little bit of glue stick over the top here. Again, you can use um, tacky glue or anything that you like on the top on the top to stick it down I mean like this and then just fold it over and stick it down okay so that just gives you a nice sort of like thickness to it and then what I did right it's got a few scrunchy bits in it anyway but I sort of like crunched it up a little bit more because I want those little bumps in it um, now this is uh, this is one where it takes a little bit of time because I want to do build up some layers on top on it so that big gives you the sort of like depth um, to the paper so all I'm going to do I'm going to start off with a little bit of gesso so I'm just pop it into the lid pop that out of the way so I don't spill it and all I'm going to do is just go over this with the gesso now for this reason really it's because it shows up your ink better um, so it won't be on the brown paper so it gives you sort of like almost like the, the true colour of your ink um, so paint this all over now the more layers you add like I said before the, the more depth you get um, to your finished product so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pop that there, I'm going to blast this with my heat gun for two seconds. Okay, and now we're going to add another bit more gesso to it, like this. Just on top. A bit more. Just like this. It's good to have a play now and again, so I thought at the weekends I'm just going to do different things I think just have a play I need to do a video on my jelly plate as well so I will do that at some point so there we go that is the gesso on there let's just quickly dry that pop that in the water Now you want your gesso to be quite dry, so that's a couple of layers on there. So I'm going to use, I'm going to actually just do this one in pinks and purples, and I did the other one in blue. So I've just got my um, Distress Ink, which is picked raspberry, 
Now I've got a paintbrush here, I've got a little bit of water just to water it down. Now just paint over the top. So we have to remember when we're crafting to have fun. So this is sometimes where we just need to relax and um, just do a little bit of painting. Just a little bit of no-brainer work really I think I would probably call it. So just mix and, and pop it all over the page. Well not all over but just you can see where you've got the gesso on it it picks up the true colour of your ink. So again use ink or if you've got any of the Tim Holtz spray inks or if you've made homemade spray inks use those um, watered down um, acrylic paint will work as well. Probably do it with some watercolours, all sorts of things you can use. Let me just add a little bit more. So any sort of medium you've got that you prefer. So it's just about having fun. In and again I'm going to dry it with my heat gun just quickly sticking up there so this is just about sort of layering um, and drying basically so we're going to have some purple in there so that's the seedless preserve Oops. the water running out let's turn that there we go. Okay, so it doesn't matter if your colours mix either. So let's just try and fill up all the little spaces here. And I think um, this will make some beautiful journal covers. And I wanted to make, I'm going to use these in another video um, because I wanted to make some envelopes. So I just wanted to make something a little bit more colourful. Um, so I thought I'd just make some lovely recycled paper projects. Oopsie daisy. A bit more ink on there. These are great for your art journaling as well. You could just use this as your background papers. And it's good to recycle, isn't it? So there we go, we're going to dry it again. Okay, right now what I'm going to do, I'm just gonna wrinkle it up again. But be careful you don't rip the paper. You just want some more little bumps in here. Just, like that. just so we've got a few more little bumps and ridges in there. Okay, so let's go over the top with this over the top so we get catch all those little bumps on there. Again, we're going to dry it. I hope I'm in shot there. I find that the oxides take a lot longer to dry um, as the ink, because you can see it's still coming up off here. So, so I don't smudge it all. I'm just going to take some of it off. Just so it doesn't smudge too much. Like that, I think that's dried. Let me just quick blast it. Perfect, now we're going to scrunch it up again.
Now I'm going to go over the top with gesso again. I know it seems quite, there's lots of um, drying and layering, but that's the whole point because that's what gives you the lovely, the lovely, lovely paper. So just showing you how I do it. You can skip the um, layers if you want to. You don't have to do so many. I'm just going to add a little bit more gesso to this. Again, doing whatever colours you like. I wasn't. I didn't want to sort of like do the brown um, vintagey colours. I thought I'd do something a little bit brighter. There we go. And again, going to dry that. Okay, so lots of drying in this video, lots of inking and drying, so I want to just scrunch it up just a little bit more. I'm going to add the gold onto it now. Okay, just make sure that's dry. Right, let's clean this bit of mess up. Like this my brush again you can add stencils to it um, to different so it's just like a, a nice big mixed media so you can put all sorts of things on there oopsie daisy big mess let's get some of the water out of here right so I'm going to use some of the um, Arteza gold So do is take a little bit and it's almost like dry brushing it on it just picks up all the little bumps on here which I think looks brilliant so this is what I think finishes it off lovely the gold so just do it over gently you can probably do it with just gold acrylic if you've got gold acrylic as well I think this looks beautiful. It looks really, really nice. Just push it over gently. Probably it like that, just a little bit, and then you can just leave that to dry. So I think, hope you can see that. I think it looks absolutely gorgeous, really, really lovely. And I think these will make really lovely um, little um, pockets, not pockets, envelopes. I'm thinking about thing. So um, that's what I will do in the next video. I'm going to show you. What, I, what you can make with them so I hope you liked that I hope you're going to give it a go it's quite a nice little Sunday Sunday Saturday um, weekend project isn't it just make a little bit of a mess so that's the pink one um, and then this one has got sort of like pink and blue in it um, and then this one was the blue one which I absolutely love this blue one I think it's gorgeous really really lovely so that's what I've been doing today so I hope you'll give it a go have a nice little relaxing project for you just a bit of painting um, inking and having fun all right guys thank you so much for joining me um, I'll be using these in the, in the in a project on my next video all right guys take care bye bye <laughs>